My name is Alia Farid, and I am 33 years old. I'm from Kuwait and from Puerto Rico. So my work is a continuation of an investigation that looks into the function of museums in the iconic Arab world, specifically the Gulf. Initially, I was interested in the architecture of the Kuwait National Museum and how it was uh, used as an indicator of the arrival of modernity in the region, in Kuwait specifically, and, um, and, and some of the reasons why this museum didn't succeed. After that, I became interested in the contents of the museum that were being amassed while the building was under construction. So the objects in the space sit adjacent to this neon light. That's a, an existing street sign and, and feature of the landscape. And I'm interested in some of the issues around representation in this context. A lot of museums are being built, and I, and, and I guess I'm interested in, in, in who these museums are for. Who the audience is, you know? I don't have a medium that I work with. I'm more interested in working with ideas or situations and then finding a way of representing uh, those ideas. And so my work results in like different things or they have very different shapes. When I'm working in Latin America, it's very, it's very different. The involvement of the community in term, determining like the shape of the environment is, is, much, is much stronger. And in the Arab states, it's a very much like a top-down imposition, right? Like these cities are being designed and built at, in like the span of 10 years, and, and people are expected to populate and activate. But, but it's almost impossible for that to happen if the community is not involved. It's a very important part. And I think the reason, one of the main reasons why the museums, or the museum project in Korea at least, didn't succeed was because people aren't actively involved in like creating this space, you know? It's not like a, it's not like a, a project that's born out of a, a need. 